All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the finish takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge of the striking to carry them to victory. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Honing in on those counters. Nice strike. Try to establish that jab. Blocks the shot. Right punch is there. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhand. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. What a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Slips the punch. Great punch. Oh, nice. Jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fighting. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, that's a good right hand. But again, Lance with the right. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Oh, and there's another uppercut. DC, you got a pretty good uppercut. I'm not sure it's as good as his, but pretty good. It's not as good as this guy's. Because uh -huh. this guy can throw it on both sides, and he throws it with the same amount of power to the body and to the head. He's very, very good at throwing uppercuts. Huge block there. Chucky in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Big elbow there, Lance. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, second round now underway. Ready? I'm no analyst, but Ready? a little bit of a feeling out process there. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Good stick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Boy, tie plump. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice stupid punch. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. The next with the right. All right, single collar tie now. 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. I mean, he hasn't thrown one leg kick this whole time. Single collar tie now. Well, missed on that one. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down now. Just misses with the straight right. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. Good punch. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, the box class, hands up, 10 down. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 10 minutes in the books. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking us through that. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home. Approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Connects now with the one-two. Blocks that strike. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. How good is that right hand? Wobble chip. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, collar tie. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Right hand punch to the clinch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big elbow. Both guys landing with conviction now. Straight right. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Oh! Got the single collar tie. And they separate. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Straight punch lands. Oh, yeah! Whoa! Oh, he got him! He got him! And what a round! 
right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Oh, oh my goodness! What a fight! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 36 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout.